In this video, we'll have a look at how we can get your visualization pane back in Power BI. Well, sort of. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So, a few weeks ago, I posted a video called Power BI on Object Interactions. So, this is a preview feature in Power BI, and you can switch it on or off by going to File options and settings, options, and then going down to preview features. And we have here on object interaction. So, so the major difference is that there is no longer a visualization pane on the right hand side. And that when you click on a visual, you have to click on this button, the build your visual button to add columns, rows, and everything else you need to do to build a visual. You can also change your visualization here or you can go to the insert menu and change it here or the whole menu and change it here. Now to say that this change was not well received is a bit of an understatement. I've got comments such as, oh cool, I love when Microsoft makes their software worse for no appreciable reason. And why would they do that? That's terrible. And are they trying to drive people into using Tableau? So if, like me, you prefer having a visualization pane as opposed to a pull-out window, which doesn't always work well when you are on a smaller screen, there is a way now you can do this. And this has been added in the June 2023 version of Power BI. So if you don't have that version, you might want to update. And it's all through this little drop down button here next to the words build a visual. So if you don't have this drop down button, then you need to have a look at updating your version of Power BI. So if I click on it, we have move to pane switcher. And that places it over here in the right hand side. So we can change between the build a visual or the visualization pane, the data pane, and if I go to view, I can add the format pane and I can have any one particular pane that I want. But this again doesn't solve the problem for me that I want a pane for my visualizations and a pane for my data and to be able to drag and drop. I don't necessarily want to have to click in add data and then expand and contract my source data accordingly. So how can I have both the build a visual and the data panes on screen at the same time. You can do this by going to whichever pane is not shown on the screen and right and click on it. We then get a context menu, switch in other words, open the data pane, close and open in new pane. And if I click on that, pay presto, we now have two panes and I can drag and drop information between them. So this looks like it's the ideal scenario. We now have the visualization pane and the data pane. So why did I introduce this video saying you can get the visualization pane back sort of? Well, the problem happens when you click away from a visualization. So I've clicked onto the page. Now let's click back. And you can see we've got the build a visual pane, but not the data pane. And so I've got to right and click on the data pane again and open a new pane. And that for me, is a bit of a pain. Now, if you want to see the pane switcher active all the time, then you can click on view pane switcher and always show pane switcher. So even if there is just one icon available, if I select always show pane switcher, it will show that icon and then I can add any additional icons I want. So whenever you show the data pane, it will always be on the right hand side. So if I open build a visual in a new pane, it will be to the left of the data pane, just like it is in the older versions of Power BI desktop. And I can do the same with the formatting pane. So now I've got all three of these panes open and I can add the filters pane to make it four. Unfortunately, when I click onto something else and click back to the visual, it all collapses back to the pane switcher. So it's not an ideal solution, but it's getting there and Microsoft will continue to develop this product. Now, if you are new to this build a visual pane, then have a look at the arrow to the right of any rows or columns. This will allow you to select the field name, but also change the aggregation. So the summation. So are using account first, last, 
some average min max that's fairly obvious because there's this big arrow what's not so obvious is that fact you can right hand click on the field as well once it's been added and then you can move up and down you can add conditional formatting you can change the summarization and other things as well you can rename but you can also rename by double clicking on the column so for me the perfect thing would be to have the builder visual and the data pane available at all times or at least on a keyboard shortcut so i don't have to keep going to the right hand side to activate it however we're not there yet and if you want the format pane to appear say i haven't got it in view format what i can also do is right and click on a visualization and go to format and now you can see the format pane appears so if you'd like to see the visualization pane as a pane then just click on it over on the right hand side i'll move it back so i'll click on the drop down and say move to visual so there it is click on it again click on the drop down and you can move to the pane switcher if you so choose well i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then why not comment on it and give me a like and subscribe and click that bell that way you'll be notified of any new videos i'm philip burton of idodata.com if you've got any thoughts for future videos why not add them into the comments as well thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video keep learning